Jackie Sprague talked with the victim's family tonight, and she's live with their reaction. It's a story you'll see only on two. Well, Sister Dorothy Stang was gunned down nearly nine years ago. Her family tells me they're not only looking for justice for her, but also the hundreds of others who have been murdered fighting for the same cause. I miss her every day. I miss her. Sister Dorothy Stang's family says the nun's legacy continues to live on in the hearts of the poor in Brazil. That's where the Dayton native was murdered in 2005. She accused cattle ranchers of bullying peasants, seizing land illegally, and destroying the rainforest. To the angel of God, angel of the Amazon. I know every time I see her picture, it just brings a big smile to my face. And I would like people to know that she did put her life on the line and doing work for God. Her confessed gunman was released this week. He was sentenced to 27 years in prison, but only served a little over eight. And when they say they're in prison, it means that they stay there at night, but they leave in the morning and they work and they and provide for their families. And then they just come back and serve a sentence at night. So the killer's early release isn't a shock to Stang's family. No surprise, but concern for the poor people, um, the sisters of Notre Dame that are still there because their lives are at risk every day. They see these killers walking amongst them. And her family hopes that by continuing to talk about her murder, it will lead to change. We don't want vengeance. We don't want justice for my Aunt Dorothy. We want justice for the 800 plus people that have been murdered and no one has been brought to justice or no change has come about uh, even after all these killings. Now, prosecutors say two other men were also hired by a landowner who had clashed with Stang. The landowner was convicted of hiring the killers in 2007, but is currently free, awaiting a new trial. Reporting live, Jackie Sprague, 2 News, working for you.